Hey, hey everyone, welcome to day six of my daily vlogging adventure for the month of November. Um, today I want to talk to you about my camera that I use for all my photography and filmmaking and that is the Canon 6D Mark II. Uh, I'll just run you through 10 top things that I like about it um, in hope that it'll help you in some way. And then, then in no particular order. So number one is that it's easy to use. To me, this camera feels a little bit like the Apple ecosystem. Um, I don't know if you've ever used a Mac versus a PC, but everything is very intuitive, simple and easy to use. I think it compares well to that, even though I don't like, like to make those sort of comparisons, but it just seems very intuitive and easy to use. Number two, and probably my like top, top, top thing is this flip out screen. It's absolutely great. It's super good if you want to shoot something high up, shoot something from the ground up, if you want to shoot yourself. So yeah, it's just one of the best features and I think this at the time of buying this was the only full frame camera with a flip out screen I don't know if that's still so number three the ergonomics um, I had an a6500 Sony a6500 before this um, and it didn't feel nearly as good in the hand as this one this just I mean you can just carry it flip around it just feels like it sits exactly in the right spot all the buttons are where you need them you know the record buttons there the sh shutters there you got your off switch there you can control that with that hand while you're doing this I, I just really like the way it's set up number four um, is the fact that it's full frame so I mentioned the Sony I had that was an APS-C um, crop sensor camera and the full frame I don't know to me there's just something about the image um, that's more special than a um, crop frame, but that's not to say I won't go back to that um, It's just something I'm enjoying at the moment. I mean from a technical point of view um, The lens sizes don't get cropped. So 24 is a 24 So you get the wide that should be the wide instead of putting a lens on and then it's actually narrower than it is I'm into the wide capture at the moment and technically you can shoot at higher ISO is on full frame cameras and of course you get the full picture so your image isn't cropped. Number five is the autofocus system. It has 45 points of autofocus. It is fast and accurate. It follows your face if you need it to. You can tap on the screen to change focus. You can tap the set button to return to the center. It's very, very quick. Um, I've really had no issues with it. It's, it's very good, so I'm happy with that. Um, number six is the time-lapse feature. So in the camera, there's an inbuilt time-lapse feature where you just go through the men menus and um, click time-lapse, set your intervals and away you go. With Sony, I had to download some extra software onto the camera, etc. And uh, yeah, I never really pursued it too much. Number seven, the Canon colors, they are really good. Uh, they are different to Sony, I think, to my eye, um, but that's, you know, subjective. Um, everything comes out really good out of the camera. I barely have to do any correction to the image. You can set it for different profiles if you want, um, you know, different color dynamics, etc., and customize the way you film. Number eight is battery life. This camera is like so much better than the 8060, A6500 that I had, which the batteries I just had to keep swapping out. This thing lasts like ages and ages compared to that. So I don't really worry about batteries at all. And number nine is live view shooting. So that's really handy when you're doing photographs and you wanna do a selfie. So you can just flip that screen and you can see yourself in the live view mode. And also it's quite handy if you're shooting low to the ground. So you don't have to lay on the ground with this camera. You can just put it down and then have a look at it in the, on the LCD screen to see what the image is going to be. And number 10 is the sound. Um, there's one feature on here that's pretty cool. When you've got the flip screen, you can see not only yourself, but you can also see your sound uh, bars so that you can see if your um, sound is clipping or anything and it's on the fly. So on that monitor, I can see not only myself, but only the, also the sound and all the settings, etc. So that's another big point. Um, they're my top 10 things. I'm sure I missed something. This is filmed all in one take, so I may have missed some things, but I um, could cover those in another video. If you've got any questions, just ask me down below in the comments section. Um, follow me on Instagram under the same name, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, day seven. See you then.